Hello there, readers, and welcome back to another story time. Today we are going to read Mary Claire Likes to Share, and it's by Joy Holm and illustrated by Lizzie Rockwell. Okay, so our title is Mary Claire, and Mary Claire is a name. Mary is a name, and Claire sounds like a last name. So Mary Claire is, and it's a girl's name. Mary is usually a girl's name. So this is probably a girl character in our story. Is there a, can you find a girl on the cover? Yeah, so maybe the character with the red shirt and the white stripes, maybe that is Mary Claire. We're not sure yet. And then the rest of the title says, likes to share. So what does sharing mean? When we share something, what do we do? So look at our cover. What are the, what are the friends? Are they sharing something? What food are they sharing? So it looks like waffle or bread, right? So they're, they're sharing this waffle or bread with each other. And is sharing a nice thing to do and a good thing to do? Yes, it is. Okay, and one more thing before we read. This book is a math reader, so it's going to talk about numbers. Okay, so something to do with math and numbers. Okay, are you ready to read? Okay, follow along and here we go. Mary Claire likes to eat. She likes to share each tasty treat. So we have three kids here. Which one is sharing? Yeah, so the, the girl with the red shirt and the white stripes. So it looks like that was Mary Claire from our cover page, right? Yeah, so that is Mary Claire and Mary Claire is sharing her candy with her friends. Come with me, she says to Lee. They cross the yard and climb a tree. Have you ever climbed a tree before? What fruit do you see in the tree? Do you know that fruit? Yeah, that's a pear. So if you're not sure, maybe you said pear, but if you don't know, yeah, that is a pear. She picks one pear for two to share. One half a pear for each is fair. So how many halves do we have here? How many halves do we have? on page nine. Two, right? So a half is 50% of something. So half. At school today, two classmates come to split a muffin with their chum. So if they're going to split it, they're going to share it. They're going to divide the muffin. How many friends are there in the picture? Three. So how many ways will they divide the muffin? Will, will they divide the muffin in half? Remember, before they divided the pair, and how many pieces were there if you divide in half? Two. Okay, so let's see how many ways they split the muffin. She cuts the muffin into three. One third for you, and you and me. So the pear was half, and now the muffin is third. So we have three pieces. Three children knock on Mary's door. What does Mary have now? Looks like cookie, just one cookie and one glass of milk. So how many friends all together? 
there's Mary Claire and three friends, so how many? Four, so how many ways will she split the cookie? Let's see. She breaks one cookie into four. One fourth is right for just one bite. So there's one bite for each friend. She split the cookie into four pieces. That's one fourth. Four friends stop over after school for fresh baked pie once it is cool. So now we have Mary Claire plus four friends. So how many friends are there all together? How many all together? Five, right? Okay. One fifth of pie for each to try. Are there five pieces of pie? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so she cut the pie into fifths. So one piece for each friend. Five cousins come. Now six are there. So five cousins and Mary Claire, six. Each one will eat a juicy share. One sixth for each to munch with lunch. Okay, before we read, let's not read yet. Let's count how many friends are in this picture. Okay, so with Mary Claire plus the friends, how many can we count? How many are there? Did you say seven? Do you find seven? Yeah, so Mary Claire plus there are six friends here. So there are seven. So how many pieces will they slice the melon? How many pieces of melon will there be? Seven. So if the last one was one sixth, what will this be? Let's see. Let's see if what you said is correct. Seven friends share one melon slice. One seventh each as cool as ice. So if you said one seventh or one seventh, you're correct. Yeah, good job. And do you like watermelon? Yeah, it's summertime, so... It's watermelon season. Can eight pals split one pizza, please? One eighth for each with stretchy cheese. So here we have eight friends total. Pal means friend. So one eighth. They get each. So it's one eighth of the whole pizza. Mary Claire wants to share her birthday with friends everywhere. Mary Claire calls all to say, please come and share my special day. So Mary Claire is inviting her friends to her birthday. Her brother Lee Climbs down the tree. Nate, Jill, and Kate roll in on skates. Gordon swings in on the gate. So where are these friends going? So they are holding a present. One is holding a card. One is holding balloons. They are going to whose birthday? Yes, Mary Claire, because Mary Claire called them. Then Cousin Mike comes on his bike with Little Ike, who rides a trike. Where is Little Ike? What color helmet does he have? Yes, he has a blue helmet. Nine kids will come one by one. 
Ten kids in all will share the fun. So how many of her friends are coming? If a total of ten will be there at the party, how many friends will come? Did you say nine? Yes, you're right. So there are ten total, so we have nine friends. And then don't forget Mary Claire, so nine plus one, ten. They all bring gifts for Mary Claire. She is glad her friends are there. She baked a nice big birthday cake. She cuts one piece for each to take. Okay, so all total, there are how many friends? So friends plus Mary Claire. How many kids are at the party? 10, right? Okay, so how many pieces of cake will Mary Claire cut? 10, right? So one piece for each. So each kid will get one, one what of the whole cake? Did you say one ten or one tenth? Yes, you're right. So they'll get one tenth of the cake. So one piece for each. How Mary Claire so loves to share. Happy birthday, Mary Claire. Okay, that is the end of our story for this week. And just like Mary Claire, don't forget to share with your friends. And until next time, bye-bye.